Hi everyone, day seven, and this is our first week, almost completed, of our farming simulator diaries of work on the farm. So today we are going to be doing a bit of mowing, a bit of drilling, oh, and a bit of everything really. Um, whatever we can find until the day is done. But there is one field in particular which I would like to mow today. And what we're going to do is we're going to mow it, we're going to row it, and then we're going to collect it. And I'm going to stick that in the silage clamp. So I'm going to go and pick up the mower. I think it's down here anyway. I hope it is. And then we will head over to the field. Now, this field is, let me just look at my map. Um, this field is, where is it? near field 26 somewhere around there not sure exactly but we'll find it so and where have I put the mower? there's the mowers so um, we need no front loader Today. But we need to get the rake and we need to get the front mower. I'm going to buy another tractor though because I would like to transport stuff as well as having my other tractor going on the worker so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to buy that really small one the one which is the cheapest um, begins with an L not sure exactly what it's called but I'm going to get one of those I'm sure someone will object to that being the cheapest one and you start off with two anyway but I sold them so we could afford some better stuff but it's definitely not going to be the main tractor it's just going to be an additional tractor because I can't always have just one tractor because I would like to put some stuff on workers. We can now afford a worker so that's what I'm going to do when we have picked up these two mowers. Yeah, the field is below field 26 now, I've just realised. Just below 26. I always forget if you can put a worker on the mower. You can't, can you? Oh well, not to worry. Um, now I think of it, we should probably put the mower on the little tractor and then put the rake on this, but we'll see how we go. Um, we might need to put front weight on the, the little one. But if we do, it's not the end of the world. So, look where you're going. So we're going to head up there now. Actually, thinking about it, there's a field here. I'm not looking, I'm looking at the map. Yeah, there's a field here, um, which is probably a better bet to do. I think we'll do this one. Not as far to go and we don't want to be carting stuff too far so I think what we'll do is we'll do a bit of mowing and then we will row it up Okay, so here we go, we're going to mow this field. It's quite wide, not 
chyba. Get right to the edges. Can't get too close though, because otherwise our rail won't get in. Cutting it well. We will have to upgrade the mower on the back soon. That will allow us to do bigger fields quicker. But we're not doing too badly with this one. I mean, if we just keep going around in a circle, we eventually get to the centre. It doesn't take too long. So I'm not too bothered about using these ones just a speed thing, makes it a lot quicker. Actually, we could be putting that little tractor on something to work. buy something and we will put a little tractor on a job. Now it's not going to be able to pull the drill. Um, in fact it's not going to be able to pull much but I'm sure we can find it something to do. What that might be I do not know but um, hmm I don't know. mainly so I can put some in autopilot but mm, do we need it? Do we need the extra tractor? Or shall we wait for a better one? I don't know. Okay, so that's done. We'll go and get the rower. And we will get all that swept up. We can put these down here now. This is supposed to be where I put the mowers anyway, but I just moved them. Oh, we could get the baler when we get when we can afford it. I think we'll do that instead of getting another tractor. Actually, it's probably a better idea. Don't want to waste money because it's not exactly easy to come by in this on hard difficulty. So we will go and get that rower and then we will row it up and then collect it. We would do the tethering but no point if we're not going to bail it, which we're not so not much point. And I don't think the small tractor would be able to power this anyway so it's probably a stupid idea buying it. This is actually a fairly wide rake to be the smallest one in the game, it's quite big. I was surprised by that because in 13 you can get a single row and in this one this is your smallest. So yeah, quite a considerable size really for the smallest one you can get. But not a bad thing because 
the small one is actually really small and it will take a long time. But I want to do, I'm going to try a different way. Before I went round, now I'm going to go up and then across. See if it makes it better in the end. Just want to try and make an easy way of doing it to, uh, because it makes it harder with the collector otherwise. I'm a little close to the edge here. Didn't want to be too close. Lovely signage. Ready for our clamp. Yeah, I think this way this way's working all right. It's not too bad. Um, the bends are going to be tighter, but it splits it in two, so we can go this way for this time, and the other way next time. I know really it's very tight but it's worth trying out. Yeah, I don't think I'd do that again. Not the best way of doing it. It looks a bit weird. So the trick is here to get close to the fence make sure we get it all but not rip the fence out <laughs> not rip the uh, tines off this either This probably isn't too much here, it's not going to fill the clump up much, but it's another field which needs cutting, so we might as well get it done. Because it all grows back anyway, so the more we cut it, the more we can get from it. There we go. Not a very big job at all. I've just realised we're playing in... Um, plus one, which means my video is going to be a day long, that's going to be a bit long, so we'll speed it up a bit, catch up on time, that was stupid of me. Right, let's go and get that forage wagon then. We've got some manure appearing, that means we can do a bit more, well there's not enough there to do anything, but we can do some spreading soon. I like doing the spreading, using the front loader. Probably the best job in this yard. But I like doing mowing too. When field 40 is growing back we can do that again and we can get a great load off that. I'd like to do the, all of it this time though before we just sort of did a, a guess of where the field boundaries were but this time I want to do everything right to the edges
Yes, we're collecting nicely now. Don't think it'll fill it. Probably about 70%. So when we last fed the cows, it said that there was enough there, we had given them enough in their trough, for six days. Which means that, well, this video series has so far been six and a half, so it's another, almost a week, until we have to feed them again. That seems crazy. But, if it's not going to let me feed them, then another job saved, I guess. We can keep the silage for later. But it just seems very easy that you feed them once a week, almost. Which seems, I don't know, a bit unrealistic maybe. stick with 70%, 70-ish percent anyway. <clears throat> now that reminds me, the productivity of the cows is something I want to check. I want to get that really high. Because the more productivity we've got, the more milk we're producing, the more money we're getting, and the closer to getting nice machinery we're going to be. So that's something I want to look at. When we get back to the yard, I'll have a look. Ah, 77% we got. It was 70-ish. Close enough. Yes, look at the clamp. Oh, it needs clamping actually. We need, we need to compact it. Once we've added more to it. It's only 20% full. Can add loads more to that. I've never been up there. Might have to go up there and have a look. I think it only takes us to another field. Field 35. But it looks like it goes to some woodland, which I've not been to. We'll go up there. See what we can do. Once we've done this. Compacting. Fifty two per cent. Fifty eight per cent. Need a quad track, <laughs> that'll be funny. You'll soon get the job done. Eighty-three. 
Almost there. There we go, 100%. Oh, I can blanket it now. Should we do that? I've actually messed up my controls here. Don't actually know what it is to do that. Oh, there we go. Whoa. We're still on top of it. We shouldn't do that. Oh, well, there we go. We've got a fermenting silage clamp. 1% done. Oop. Um, so, yeah, when that's done, we can start feeding the cows and doing other stuff with it. Oh, don't hit that. Productivity. Let's have a look at that. Oh, rain on Sunday. Today. It's a shame this isn't the real days, actually. I'm filming this today, which is a Monday. But this is a Tuesday. We're one day in front. Hmm. Although, actually, I'm uploading it today on a Monday and filming it today on a Monday, but I don't publish it until the Tuesday. So, actually, we are right. Tuesday, today. That's what you're watching. Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing it in real time. Yeah, that's perfect. Couldn't be better, could it? Um, so, yeah, if the forecast is right, Sunday is looking wet. Today's the best day of the week. Friday, we're looking a bit hazy. So, yeah, our balance is now plus 40. We're not doing too bad. We've got harvest income, vehicle running costs, livestock expenses. We should have payment from their milk somewhere. Growth. Um, Looks like we've got a ready to harvest over here. We're not going to though because we haven't got enough fields drilled. Um, it doesn't look like there is a woodland down here. Not at all. Productivity though, 44%. We need to do other stuff. Feeding through silage and mixed rations. We can't do the mixed ration yet, but we can when we get a baler. Shall we buy some sheep? I think we'll buy some sheep. We haven't got any sheep. They're really cheap, so I think we'll buy 20. Cows, not so cheap. Chickens, very cheap. Let's buy 30 or 40 of them. Sorry about the flashing screen. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so we'll go and find our sheep. I think they're near dairy. Or, or are they not in the dairy? No, they won't be in the dairy. They're in a... Oh, yeah, I can see them. They're up there, top right-hand corner where you see a sheep's head. It's the pasture. Don't know if there's two of them in the two pastures. Um, no, just the one. So we'll go and see our sheep, and yeah, we'll go and see the sheep. That's a good opportunity, actually, to um, well, we can't afford it anymore because we're going to bought the sheep. That was stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. I was going to buy a little tractor, put this one on a worker doing the drilling. But I've just realised that I've been stupid enough to go and use the money up. We only need 6,000 more. Maybe there's something we can get rid of. We might not need it all. Um, there we go, that's one. We don't need that. And to be honest, oh, we only need a thousand more. Um, hmm. 
What should we get rid of? Well, we don't need that. We're going to do manure anyway. So we'll go and buy our little Hurleyman. Is it pronounced Hurleyman? <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right at all, but yeah, we've just gone and bought it. So we'll go and attach the drill to this. We'll go and drill field 36, and then we will tootle over to our sheep and see what they're doing. Actually we might do 23. 23 and he's doing two. So we'll get the drill. I think he's up here. Oh no, where'd I put it? It's in the shed I think. There it is. Alright. So we'll, we'll plant some wheat or something. making sure there's nothing it can hit. Don't think there is, it shouldn't do. Hope not. But we're going to choose wheat and it's going to plant that. So off you go my little worker. Start making us money. Oh, right to the edge as well. Okay, here it is. Look at this. Look at this. Hurley man. I did pronounce it right. Okay, we're going to take our little whizzer and we will go and whiz over to our sheep pasture. And see what they're doing. Now, I understand that the way you make money from these sheep is with the wool. And I think you take your front loader and you pick up your wool and then you sell it. But. I may be wrong. I've never done it. But that would be a nice thing to do. I want to do that. Um, so that's why we bought the amount we did. It's a shame the cows aren't cheaper actually because they're very productive. And they make quite a bit in milk. Yeah, the reason why I bought this again, I sold it once, but the reason why I bought it again is because it is a perfect tractor for doing exactly this, just sort of driving about. We could have gone in the pickup, but this tractor is going to be used in different areas of the map, so we might come back and pick up something else with it, just depending on what we're doing. I mean, if we had the money, I would buy a fertilizer spreader and put that on it, but Unfortunately, because we were playing on hard and we had no um, things in storage when we started the game, it makes things incredibly hard to actually get an established farm quickly. It just takes a lot more time. Definitely possible, but it takes a lot more time. Hmm. Frames per second loss over here. Must be all the houses. There it goes, it's cleared. Okay, so they're just up here on the left. Little sheep. Should be here somewhere. There they are, oh, there's one already appeared. Should have brought the front loader. Look at that. Our own produce, happy sheep. Formidable wool from happy sheep. They're certainly happy. So where do you take it to? Um, as soon as they purchase some sheep, they start producing wool. Over time, a pallet with several sacks of wool will appear here. You can pick it up with your front loader and transport it to the spinnery where you can sell it. Where is the spinnery? Ah, oh, it's on my map. Let's have a look. A spinnery. It's probably quite a long way. Um where is the spinnery? I can't see the spinnery. 
Hmm. Where's the spinnery? That's interesting. I'm probably just being blind. It's probably right in front of me. Um. Hmm. Well. That's strange, but. Um. Yeah. Where is it? Oh well, I'll have to look for it another time. I'm sure... Oh, I found it, there it is. Yeah, it is, it's right in front of me, look. Next to field 23, above 28. Yep, I'm being stupid again. So yeah, not too... It's not too much of a trip, trip is it, really? But, uh, shame this doesn't have a front loader. That would be handy. I think there's a mod, but you can put a front loader on it. We should probably get it. Because this would be really handy with a front loader. Hmm. I'll look into that for tomorrow. But yeah, there are our happy sheep. We've got all kinds of different sheep. Lots of different breeds. Hello. A realistic sound. Oh, look at this little tail wagging. <laughs> Hello, another sheep. It's a nice sound that sheep chomping on grass. They need feeding. They need feeding. We will need to feed them, so that's where the next load's coming to. <coughs> of course, we could. Um, oh, oh, look at all this what we've been spending our money on um, we could look into this productivity 5% feeding through hmm and wool 4 4 and it's already got us a pallet hmm couldn't be a very expensive pallet oh well um, oh, excuse me. Hmm. That's the problem with the recording at night. <clears throat> anyway, we'll go and see how our little work is getting on with that field. We'll take the pickup back. And, well, for tomorrow, I think we will, um, we'll see if we can get this tractor with a front loader because I think it's quite a good tractor to have a front loader on, but unfortunately doesn't come with one which is a bit well annoying really because it's definitely a good tractor to put one on but anyway um, we will need to start spreading but probably not this harvest because we're going to have to make our money for the equipment going. Oh yeah, just took the long route, didn't we? Oh, <laughs> look at that acceleration. Just about getting past. Yeah, the traffic is seriously slow. I keep saying it, but it is. It seems really slow. Don't know why. They must be doing about 20 miles an hour. I'm sure they used to do 30. Maybe there were too many pile-ups. Anyway, um, mm, 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 the drill is up top. Field 23. I want to... Well, we can't afford a spreader. In fact, we can't afford anything now, but... Um, we will be able to soon so that's not really a problem what we'll be doing is um, doing a day at forestry because that is the most productive way of getting our quick money um, and then we'll be able to buy everything we want today is just really a day of sort of pottering about looking up things 
getting that worker working um, and really just making sure everything's running smoothly on our little farm but yeah we have quite a few fields we've got 10 or 11 so plenty to be getting on with it's just that that tractor is the only one which can do most of the work and I don't want to be driving it all the time so it's uh, a worker's job really why is that growing already? plant growth slow time scale 30 it's already growing I can't be right oh well we'll just be having a great harvest must be a good time of year or something we'll put this away, we'll go and get the pickup and we'll call it a day I think not a great deal to be doing Oh, we don't want the combine. Not yet, anyway. Oh, let's go and have a check on that field. Has it grown back? Wow, it can be done again. Well, that didn't take long. Must be June. Handbrake turn. That was disappointing. That was very disappointing. Yeah, it's June. Let's just call it June. We're leaving mucky tracks, so it's still a bit of a wet season. The growth rate's high, clearly. That'd be one thing which would be nice, actually, have seasons. Just be a bit selective, wouldn't it? You wouldn't be able to uh, do any harvest or anything. It would all be livestock, really. No grass. No combining, not really much drilling. Doing a bit of sugar beet, I suppose. Um, maybe a few potatoes at the end of beginning of winter. But it wouldn't be a great deal to do. Maybe if summer was longer and then winter was quick. And you have snow. Oh, if you could do snow plowing, that would be amazing. That would make it nice. Is he finished or has he got stuck? Oh, he's moving. Probably his last one, is it? Really ineffective brakes on this thing. Now he's got a little bit more to do, so we're just going to put this back. And then we'll go and finish off that and uh, call it a day. <laughs> it does skid this thing. Look at that. Power sliding. Anyway, there we go. We're back home. We've not had a very productive last two days, but there hasn't been so much I can do. That, that field over there is done. That field's done. This field needs doing. That field needs doing. Field 23 is in the process of being done. 28 needs doing. 20, 36 needs doing. 37 needs doing. 41 is done and 40 is our grass field. So yeah, we're about half and half. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is in the time I normally skip the night I'll probably drill the, the other fields or not all of them but some of them just so it doesn't bore everyone. And then that will keep things moving. Come on, work, we'll finish this off. That will save us a bit of money. Last little bit. Yeah, I don't know what the drop in frames per second is. Um, I've been experiencing that quite a bit, which is uh, disappointing, but. Probably just, uh, probably just I've got something running in the background, or it could be fraps, because it's normally all right. So we're gonna have a nice, lovely wheat field here soon. Sure, 
shouldn't be too long. And then we can have one great big harvest where we go and harvest every field and uh, reap the rewards. So I actually don't know how long this video has been because I made that mistake at the beginning of setting the time frame wrong. So it's been on 30 for a while, but it was on 1 for 10 minutes or so. So, um, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's enough for today. That is our first week completed. Hopefully you've uh, found it partially interesting, despite all the hiccups we've had. But I will be continuing. Hopefully you'll be continuing to watch. If you are and you enjoy it, please remember to share and subscribe and everything. And uh, yeah, I will see you at the beginning of week two, which is tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.